Good it, morning. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> it's been an awesome Thanksgiving. I'm extremely thankful for my beautiful wife, my beautiful baby, my beautiful Stella. <laughs> You want to come say what's up to the vlogs? Yeah, what's up, guys? I'm Brad. I have a story. It's called Today I Will Fly. It's a crazy book. Yeah. What is this? Mo Williams. Mo Williams. Yeah, I'm a fan of Mo Williams. I love Elephant and Piggy. I like the pigeon, too. And mm. Unlimited. I was in Nuffle Bunny. Stella's been asking me to make her a YouTube channel. Maybe one day when she can operate a camera she can do it but I'm really thankful also uh, for everyone that's been watching and supporting the vlogs it means a lot it's been a cool 2022 and if you're feeling down don't worry about it only control what you can control and if you're feeling good these days continue to do that because honestly it's just life you know it's just kind of like this weird thing that happens and you should feel very blessed that you get to experience this and you can either feel sorry for yourself or you can just kind of embrace the cards that have built, been dealt to you and do your best with what you got. Look at this baby you guys. 2022 and I made this thing. Don't mind her face, she has a lot of eczema. Oh, poor baby. April's not doing a good job taking care of the baby and obviously now the baby has these like eczema things all over her face She probably do a better job of keeping her moisturized April You know if I was handling the baby 98% of the time her whole body would be covered in eczema one, 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 one. I've got a really special vlog for Thanksgiving here. We're gonna be doing an iconic Supreme box logo unboxing supremely thankful for supreme it's either like last week couple weeks ago i posted a whole vlog on you know the origin of the box logo with jebbia and barbara kruger and all of that controversy and you know where it came from and as i did that research it made me kind of like it made me want to go buy some more box logo stuff some more like collectible stuff or things that are either considered iconic grails now and also things that I felt like were going to become grills. And I feel like basically anything that's like the standard like white red box logo is going to be something that people are going to want for years and years and years. I mean, that's why Supreme is what it is. So when I am buying Supreme, really I'm collecting stuff and there's really three things that I enjoy collecting from Supreme. Actually, there's four, but I only have three out of the four. Number one, hoodies, t-shirts, skate decks, and I love all the accessories. I don't have any accessories for this haul, I don't think, but I do have the other three. So when I buy Supreme, I'm usually buying white and red. And this is obviously a red hoodie. I bought it in a large, I think, the large hoodies fit me the best. I don't really like an oversized look with Supreme too much, except for the t-shirts. But on the front you see here, the regular plain red hoodie. But in the back, you've got the massive Supreme logo. So I'm basically like I'm immersed and I'm wearing the box logo. Oh, it's very nicely made. I thought it was gonna be just like screen printed, but it is actually uh, stitched on here has this like nice satin um, application here. I don't always get the matching set. I wore size 32, but in Supreme joggers, I get a small. It's just kind of a clean, minimalist look, but it's pretty loud, you know? I don't know if I can actually pull this off, we'll see. This is from 2021 fall winter drop. This is definitely a grail. Supreme white box logo. Need I say more? You've got the embroidered Supreme box logo here. This is also a large, very heavy, very substantial. And just so that you know, they even stitched right here, 2021. Probably one of the cleanest 
Supreme hoodies you can buy, period. And whenever they like reissue these white ones, I typically buy one. I think I have the crew neck. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I need the hoodie too. So I went ahead and got the hoodie as well. This is also from 2021 for Stella. This is also Supreme Box logo. Uh, it's made exactly like the hoodie, except they put it on a new era beanie. And I love that it says world famous on the script. That's one of their slogans. And clean, it's just Box logo. Stella looks really good in these beanies. Looks good, I like it. This is the probably an ultimate grail here, which I got from a place called Hang Dry. Hang Dry, super dope. You can find them on Grail. Very reputable place to buy, you know, vintage Supreme, things like that. Go check them out. This was only made for friends and family. 2011, definitely vintage. Bought it in an extra large. This was not sold to the public on their 10 year anniversary. This is a Supreme box logo tee. Like, look at that. New, never worn, dead stock, XL. What the fuck? And because it's vintage, there are some defects here. I wonder if my wife can handle this. I bet she can. She's really good at this. Getting rid of stains. I hope she can. I'd be really, really sad if she can't. But the shirt material is just not made the same as it used to be. Whatever blanks they were using, this is much more thinner, not as substantial, not as heavy as the new box logos that come out. But I wish he had told me that there was a defect. I would have bought it anyways, it's whatever. It's cool, it's like vintage. But he said new never worn is what was in the description. So, I mean, is it really new never worn? Why is there a stain on this? Maybe because it's from 2011, which would make it like what? How old is that? 2021? 20 years? Hold on. Am I doing all my math wrong? I feel like I am. How could 2014 be the 20th anniversary? Oh, okay. That makes way more sense now. This is, has nothing to do with any type of anniversary whatsoever. Just in 2011, they were printed and delivered for friends and family and employees of the company. So it has nothing to do with any type of anniversary. And what would a Supreme haul, especially a box logo haul be without some motherfucking skate decks? All right, this is the skateboard that I actually skateboard on. But I've been meaning to buy one just to keep dead stock and like maybe display and hang. It is my favorite skateboard ever made by Supreme. It is their 20th anniversary deck. This is going to be collectible, still in the shrink wrap. I'm going to hold this. You can see the 20th anniversary insignia. I'm going to be holding this for a long time just to display it because I have one that I have a whole deck built out and that's my main skateboard that I ride. It's been pretty fucked. And it's just, I kind of like, oh, do I really want to buy this again? Because I already own it and I ride it and I felt like it was a waste of money. When I saw the price for it, I was like, fuck it. I'm picking one up and I'm going to use it to display. It's kind of what I use most of my Supreme skateboards for. This one, I believe, is going to be a very, very rare collectible skateboard. And this is cool. This is an uncut skate deck. So it's like square or rectangular. They left this one uncut. So it literally looks like a Supreme Box logo. This is one that I'm gonna be displaying for the rest of my life. Like this is fucking beautiful. Oh yeah, it feels cool. I love it. it feels great. It feels like, this, this is like the type of shirt you'd want to skateboard in, without a doubt. And if my arms aren't so long and gangly, I think it hit my shoulders right, but I can deal with it. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing that crazy about it. Don't do the box logo on the top and the bottom and the hat and the shoes and look like a supreme mannequin. I just think it's like a weird look. I don't know, some people can pull it off, I guess. Don't tell me. Don't let me tell you how to dress. But if I left the house like this with a box logo t-shirt underneath, I guess people wouldn't know that there's a box logo t-shirt underneath, so that part doesn't matter. But wearing this box logo, and then that, it is a little weird. Like, it just kind of has a strange look to it, where it's like, box logo, 
box Tozer. logo. Yeah, my wife says it looks like Tozer, which I can definitely see that. Oh, these joggers feel good though. All right, if you leave the house like this, I think it's kind of weird. Check out the joggers, these are cool. I mean, it is what it is, right? I'm just kind of collect. Imagine like if I went out like this and then I got my skateboard and I went to the skate park and I was like, oh, oh. I can barely skateboard too. Like I'm the biggest poser in the world. All right, could I leave the house in this jumpsuit? I think so. I don't mind being too matchy matchy, but I think it'd be cool to like to wear this with like, with like some jeans, maybe like some white joggers. And then I could see myself wearing the bottom of these with some like denim on top instead. It's a little crazy. Individually, it looks really good, but like alone or like together, I mean combined, it's a lot of Supreme. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching the vlog. Thanks for watching the Supreme haul. Um, this is what I like to buy when I'm shopping at Supreme. You know, it made me think like, how much more Supreme shopping can I do? How much more can I fit in my closet? Honestly, I'm, my closet is massive. I don't even think I can fit everything in there. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with it all. I think I'm pretty much like done buying Supreme. That's what I always say. And then they drop something I'm like, oh, I kind of want to get that. But I think more like in the future, I'm gonna be looking more towards like vintage Supreme stuff for the, so for the hauls, and I had some vintage stuff in here and that was my favorite, those are my favorite things that I bought. So for future haul videos, if you see Supreme, I think you're gonna see more like the, the, the older stuff, the vintage stuff that's hard to find, the grails, the archives, the iconic pieces, more so than the new releases. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I think if they always do a new box logo drop, I think they'll always sucker me into that. But otherwise, I think I'm gonna be going more towards the vintage route with Supreme. But I understand that people might think, oh Eddie, he's just a big time poser. Look at this old 41 year old attorney like trying to be cool wearing Supreme. I get that, I get it. But I can't help what speaks to me. And I love subculture. Um, I love mainstream culture. And I think Supreme is kind of able to combine those things and sell me shit that I really, really like. And obviously it feels very exclusive because I had to get most of this stuff off of like resale, off the resale market. And I hope to God, April can save these things. And look at that. Using OxyClean, the sun, my wife's secret sauce. No more stain. Incredible.